Okay, now uh, the best way to keep uh, your reservoir from heating up too much, you know, somebody asked one of the questions was how do you paint something black and leave it in the sun? Now if you had a small container like that, that small one we just showed you, um, and you painted it black and set it out there, you know, it would heat up fast, like within an hour. So even something like this, I want to sit in the direct sunlight, like out in the yard, that would heat up in you know a matter of hours and and, and uh, kill your entire plant. But um, if you have a, a bigger tote like this one's a 16 gallon, um, it's going to take the, over in the shade. It's going to take a long time for that to heat up. And um, if you you get a bigger container, you have more thermal mass with your water. You know, don't let it get all the way down. You know, to like an inch, because you know that that'll heat up and kill it too. So you kind of want to keep it. It's it's right about here right now. I haven't filled anything. This one's kind of an experiment. If you all saw a couple weeks ago, you know we came by, trimmed it. See, we've been cutting basil off of it and just letting it bush out and, and keep growing. And I told you that I'll keep doing that, and I'll come by here tonight and I'll take some pictures. But I'll cut all of this back again. See if you cut it back to where you have like the little new growth and then those can bush out some more. I come back and cut it back again and I'm not adding anything to this just to see how long it'll take to go all the way down. Let's take a quick peek. Was it last week or two weeks ago or maybe last week? Yeah. So there's the roots. Let's see if we can see the water level down in there. Alright. See so where the water levels drop to? So, I'd say that's right up to about right there right now. So from an, the initial thing when y'all saw me put this together and had the little tiny baby basil in here, I haven't added any water, haven't done anything to this and actually it's more basil than I need. I've been making pesto and throwing it on sandwiches and spring rolls. I'm actually all basiled out. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm letting some of the bugs go ahead and munch on it and uh but that's just one see we've got more two or three more basil plants sitting up there and uh uh downspout and i'm just letting those flower because uh bumblebees are coming by and give them something but yeah so if you want to keep your water from heating up thermal mass is the way to go is so the bigger container you get the better um but like I said, these are $15 piece. I have one there and I have one there. So, um, you know, the, that's the shard, you know, we keep coming in. You can see you keep cutting it off, cutting it off. You know, you can tell by how thick these start to get. He's falling over. Um, you know, it just keeps giving and giving. And we'll come in and cut almost all of those off again. Leave the little, see there's another little baby one coming in there. We'll leave those little ones eat the rest of these see those are nice and tender you could eat those raw in a salad instead of like at the store where you get you know these big thick leaves that are getting kind of tough you got all those baby leaves you know they don't even sell that in the store and you cut those off and, and more will start growing that's, that's the way to go if you want you know you want to grow stuff that's um, hassle free you know this guy's been sitting out here since I changed it out uh, go back and check out the other video where I pulled that old tomato plant out and uh, put these guys in and once again I haven't done anything to it I haven't watered it once you know carefree system just like this basil I mean look at all that basil and it's probably like twice as much you know we, we've probably come through and, and eaten it all you can see that you know there's not a whole lot of here's a couple one starting to flower but we've been topping them off. You know, it's been bushing out and we've been, been eating it and this thing is just keeps coming and coming. So we're gonna cut that all off. Someone said blanch it to retain color and uh, freeze it. I'm gonna try and do that because we've just got so much of it right now. And, and that, all of that basil, let me step back here, is just from that little container right there. So, um, like I said, is it the best way to go? You know, probably not. You know, I'm not knocking the traditional gardeners and the people who like to get their hands dirty and that, but um, 
if I plan all this stuff, see I feel if I plan all this out out there, the deer will come up and have a buffet in one night. You know, everything everything will be gone. Uh, rabbits, critters, er, you know, everything will be all over it. And I don't feel like building a, a eight foot fence around everything. You know, like I said, it's not for everyone. But if you're a busy guy like me and you're gone all the time, you know, this is awesome. You know, I, I can take off on the road for a whole week and not worry about, you know, if my basil is going to be here when I come back or if I'm going to have shard. But, yeah. So I took all these beans out. Y'all remember seeing all the beans? I'll just show you real quick. Um, and I put these back again. These are the last that I had in a packet, but as you, let's see if I can get some light on there. See, the leaf miners. Like I said, I don't use any type of pesticide. If you guys want to use like BT or something like some organic pesticide, you can. I don't use any, mainly because it just costs money. But, um, there's little leaf miners. I see the little fly flying around here. And, and for some reason, they just love this bean plant. And I put a couple sacrificial plants, but, you know, I got testing basil. Because last time I had beans all across here. And when they got mature, they did suck up water fast. So, I just put uh, about eight here. And like I said, so, like I said, it is attracting the little leaf miner fly. And, uh. As you can see, they're they're on that, and then they're kind of staying away from my bok choy. I got one. See that little one right there? This time of year, if I didn't put BT or something on here, every one of these would be covered. You know, with those leaf miners, you know, being out here. But you know, um, I'm gonna replant. Like I said, that one down on the end. This is bok choy. You know, and what we're going to do, you know, I don't know if I have to show you all again or if you remember from the other videos, when you grow your little sprouts like that. See, another question was, he was saying my stuff's leggy. This is what they mean, leggy, is how long that is. When you're growing like this, I like leggy because then you have a room to put that pool insert around it. Then that root can hang down in the nutrient solution and then your plant's up above. But... Check out the radish. I'm going to harvest these guys. Put them in a... I know I said I was going to do it last week, but they were just growing so good. I just decided to leave them out here another week. And uh, now I'm going to cut those and set them in a refrigerator. In a container. Probably like an old spinach container you get from the store. And uh, we'll see how long those last in there. You know, after you buy... Uh, Harvest them here and then stick them in the refrigerator. But uh, you can see, you know, we've been eating. Whoosh, you know, it's all gone. A couple of them kind of growing back, but I ate off one side and flipped it around. But I mean, man, that thing's still. Can you imagine that from a one dollar, from a one dollar container? This is a pencil box, like you send your kids to school, and you go up to the dollar store and you buy a pencil box. And the wick that I'm using in there is just an old t-shirt. And I just cut a little strip off the t-shirt, ran it up in here so that it's touching the soil. And I mean man, I'm just this I'm just constantly, constantly getting bok choy baby greens off of here. And this is a little different flavor because it's more mild than uh, the big leaves. I use the big leaves for like a stir fry because you know it condenses down when when you cook, when you heat them up, you know, it all cooks down. So I use these bigger leaves for that. And then the bigger uh, stalks, you know, which are, you know, that's the crunchy part. So you got crunchy and leafy. I use the big ones for the stir fry. And then my little guys over here, this is what, you know, that goes in the salads and, and on top of your soups and that, or I just eat it raw sometimes. I just get a little soy and agave. Maybe put a little fresh ginger in it and just dip it in it and eat it. It's, it's awesome. But uh, that, and then you take a couple of radish with it too. And, uh, you know, this is just like eating a, a mild, real mild radishes. Yeah, so that tastes just like a little radish. So, Y'all have fun. Got any questions, let me know. 
you know this is just a little bit of rambling Monday I'll get back to when I get some time uh, doing up the videos with the little effects and putting my doggies in it and everything but uh, um, just rambling a little bit here on Monday hope y'all have a good week catch you next week keep on growing <laughs>